All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Chuck. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with similar height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. All right, you ready? You ready? All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Liddell gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Beautiful combination there. Oh, nice combo there. Lands again. Very good exchanges here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. That one hurt. Well, he gets cracked in the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point. Oh, slam me! Oh, he's going for it here. Oh, big left. Powerful lands for him. It's home. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. No! Oh, huge shot there, Lance Flush. That kick blocked by Chuck Liddell. Jones gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. He's out! Beautiful, accurate uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there and couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Let's see this again. Look at this. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and John Jones. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. You ready to fight? Ready. So much MMA history has been made inside this venue from Pride to the UFC and we are underway from the world famous Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan. Watch the shot here, Joe. Nice jab. Miguel gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Caught him with a punch. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. And there's a nice jab. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Oh, nice punch there by the Iceman. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice punch there by Chuck Liddell. Slips to avoid that left. They're both landing bombs on each other. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Using his jab effectively here, Joe. Jones has oh. looked like it did stun him a little bit. This could be it. Oh, man, he dug that shot to the body. Oh, straight right. The left hook hits home. Oh, he tagged him. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Finds his range with the jab. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Series of strikes, they all land. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by the Iceman. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Good right hand on the top. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh! 
The jab. Oh, he hurt. He hurt him bad. That's it. He's out. He's out. He's out. The fight is over. Wow. Perfectly placed strike to end the fight. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with... Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Gokong. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Back to the inside leg kick. Landed that one. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these so up. Both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. He landed that punch flush. Oh, good kick. That punch will work right through the door. Just misses with a left hook there. He's, he's throwing some hard shots now. Oh, and he lands another jab, using the jab beautifully all night. Beautiful jab. Jabs off the left and jabs off the right. Head kick there blocked by Chuck Liddell. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there by Chuck Liddell. There he swung with a haymaker. Oh, the punches and bunches. Man, he continues to land. Effective jab there by the Hall of Famer, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Iceman. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Misses a huge hook to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by the ice man. Oh, oh, right huge hand. right hand! He's definitely hurt. Nice leg kick. Big straight punch. We're going at it now. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Round two next. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, step around. You ready? Are you ready? Let's All right, go. round two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Connects with the punch there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. That one hurt. He got tagged there. Wow! Oh! Oh! Boom! It's over. That is it. A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Watch this again here.
Boom. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Iceman, Chuck Lorenzo! So just the way he drew it up here.